Oh, I can hear it. I think today is going to be a good day. Good morning everyone, it's Mike Fisher from Finding Fish. Welcome to Cuba. Arrived late last night to the Grand Muthu Imperial in uh, Cale Gorlamo. Um, anyway, I got a seat sale for $775 for five days and I'm here to make a video and share it with you. I just got up, I'm just gonna get a coffee. I just wanted to hit the beach and to check it out and see what it's all about. Anyway, why don't you stay with me this week because today and this week is gonna be amazing. So it's about 10 to 7. I'm just heading up to the main lobby. And as you can see, very quiet here. This is what it looks like very early in the morning. The sun is just going to come up. Lots of loungers, beautiful looking loungers. Beautiful looking pools here. Now, I'll be interested to see how busy this is at lunchtime. Anyway, as you can see, I'm starting to approach the main snack bar, which I came into last night. That's kind of where the action was last night. Very loud, lots of drinking going on. That's where you're gonna get your food, your hamburgers, your chicken sandwiches, your tuna sandwich, all your stuff like that. French fries, french fries and gravy, coffee, beer, wine, liquor. Um, now one thing about the Cuban coffee, I've talked about this in other videos, it's a very rich, bold, sweet flavor. They do make a great coffee, cappuccino, espresso, Spanish coffee, they can kill it. Um, anyway, let's go find out and see how well they do here. The Grand Muthu. Now this is rated a five star. I don't know how they come up with a five-star rating, but uh, anyway, let's check it out. Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning. Now, as you enter the resort, if you turn right, you'll notice the reception. And they are here 24 hours. Now, this is an MGM Muthu property. So these guys have hotels all over, all over the world. They're building their brand. Um, right now, I believe they have London, Sorry, they have England, Scotland, um, Spain, Portugal, uh, Veradero, and they have two properties here in uh, Keokoko. Now, this is where you're gonna meet Sunwing rep, your Air Canada reps, you're gonna book your excursions, you're gonna find out when you're going home, if you have any issues. I believe we're supposed to meet today at 10 a.m. I've done the drill many times, but for anyone that's never been here, you should go, because um, it's an hour bus ride home and you do not want to miss the bus. Um, it'd probably be a very expensive cab ride. I've done it before and uh, I'll probably end up doing it again in my lifetime. When you arrive in this lobby, when you turn to the left, you'll notice the lobby bar. Now this lobby bar opens at 7 a.m., um, which you can see right now. Good morning, guys. Good morning. How are you? Fine. Thank you, how are you? Good. Um, as you can see, it says it's closed right now. It'll be mo opening momentarily. Beautiful lobby. Spacious. Um, now for April, I'm here just before Easter weekend. Uh, this resort's on the quieter side, I would say. Uh, this has a big capacity here. I'll find out today how many rooms and how many occupants can be here, but then again, it is 7 a.m. One cappuccino, please. One cappuccino? Yeah, thank you. How fast did I bring for you? Excellent, thank you. And I can't even wait to start my day and figure out this resort. I have no idea about this resort. Um, I do know that there's two places to get coffee. It's going to be the main lobby bar and it's probably going to be the 24 hours, but uh, we're set to adventure. That is a good cappuccino. 
Mm. Cinnamony. As you can see, they have a selection of fresh fruits. Looks like yogurts, juices. Hey, good morning. Great, how are you doing? Some pastry and bread. This looks like it's the omelet station. And it is just opening, so I'm like one of the first people in here, so the guys aren't even really working yet. They're still doing the setup. Now, it's more of a European um, cured meats. Uh, bus bag. Peppers, meatballs, red beans. You got your toasting station. Any pastos over here. Pickles, hot peppers, olives, tomatoes, cucumbers, green peppers. Cheeses, French fries, who doesn't like French fries for breakfast? Bacon, you got some black beans, you got your cereals. Looks like you got a fresh fruit station and make smoothies. You've got two almond stations, it's a pretty small uh, buffet. Um, but then again, I don't know how many guests are here or how big this hotel is, I will find out today, but uh, there you go. That's what breakfast actually looks like here at the Grand Wuhu. Um, I'm gonna set to adventure and find out what the pool area looks like, so let's go. I'm staying in building eight and it's amazing like you walk straight through the lobby right to the ocean you turn uh, left and there's my building number eight very easy access to everything this is what your view is gonna look like to the ocean now they do have an infinity pool I believe this is it right here I think this is where I'm gonna be hanging out now as you can see 10 to 8 people are already taking over the loungers get into this there we go pool area is done breakfast is done the sun's just popping through the clouds anyway I'm gonna go get changed let's go check out my room and go find the beach anyway if you're new to my channel please like and subscribe um, on my way to 5,000 and I'd really love the help getting there um, all comments are amazing good or bad let me know what resorts you'd like me to go to next if you'd like. Set to go to Keo Largo, uh, Veradero, uh, maybe a couple back in uh, Keo Coco this year. So uh, there'll be lots of content coming. Anyway, let's go find the beach. There we go. As you can see when I first open up, they do have adjoining rooms. Get some lights going here. Here's your bathroom, sink. Let's do a hot water test. People ask me all the time, do they have, well, have hot water? Like I said, I'm on the third floor. I just turned that on. It's starting to calm now. Very hot. What's that, 30 seconds or less? Lots of hot water. Oh boy, that's dangerous. Scale, shower. Toilet area. Got my safe. Places for your luggage. King size bed. Well laid out. It's your standard hotel room. Of course you have a mini fridge. And you have a seating area. And it looks like I have a bit of an ocean view with two chairs and my beach towels. Functional, 
adequate and cozy. That's it, folks. That's my room. Now I'm heading to the beach. Now to get to the beach, you're going to go through the pool area, down to building 8, you're going to turn left, you're going to go through building 7, and it's going to spit you out onto a path by number 4. You're going to walk past number 4 building, and there's a direct link right to the beach. Um, and it looks like it's pretty much wheelchair accessible. Um, now take that with a grain of salt. I think there's like a bit of a wooden structure to get you to the beach, but uh, that being said, it's pretty flat. There is a few inclines and declines. Anyway, I'm just gonna head down to the beach and check it out. <laughs> As you get further down the beach, the rock does dissipate and go away. Very windy, so I don't think you're going to have any bug problems down here today. And actually, very quiet down here. I just ordered some lunch after being down at the beach. I ordered the Muthu burger and a poutine. Uh, considering I'm not drinking, I thought I'm gonna have a cheat day. Anyway, I think I got the best piece of real estate here. Anyway, I just finished lunch. I actually had a cheat day, so I had a hamburger and some poutine. That was a pretty small portion, but then again, it's all you can eat, so what the heck. Um, yeah, beautiful view uh, down here at the pool, and I'm gonna have to say this is probably their best asset is the pool. This is an infinity pool overlooking the ocean, and then you have an upper um, with beds and loungers. It is absolutely beautiful, because um, their beach is not what I personally like for a beach, but it's nice. Very nice. Um, there's a great breeze here, so I haven't had any bugs. But if there was no breeze, there could be some bugs. Anyway, lounges are packed. Anyway, let's go take a look up here. And then I'm gonna wander the resort and look for the cigar bar. And there's a sports bar here, so.
finished a beautiful coffee. Just Bonnie made me a, actually a cappuccino um, at the cigar bar from 4 to 11. Uh, if you're looking for somewhere to hide out and chill out, you don't even have to smoke a cigar. They've got all the rums in there, whiskey, vodka, and it was, it was just nice to chill out for five minutes out of the sun. I'm gonna go see if the sports bar is open. There you go, I just finished off at the sports bar. They also have a small gym. Um, they have a tennis court. They have a basketball court. And they also have some water sports consisting of some Hobie Cats, a sailboat, um, some paddle boards. I think they have some kayaks. And I think I saw a windsurfer. Anyway, and I think you can do some snorkeling here. And But they might take you to a little island and you have to pay, uh, it's a bit of an upgrade. But anyway. I'm going to go uh, spend the afternoon in the sun and go get cleaned up and get ready for dinner. Well, that's it for me. I've had a wonderful time here. Um, like and subscribe, it really helps my channel. Keep watching, to hit the notifications, then you can see where I'm going to next. Follow me. It's gonna be amazing. Adios, thanks for watching. Mike Fisher.